Hey guys, it's Adelaide from Aya Pottery. So today I am gonna throw some uh, hand warming mugs. Um, so this is just the throwing part of that. Um, but what I wanted to talk to you about is, so in the winter especially, and with throwing so much, my hands are just, I smashed my finger there. So it's got like this big open area because the nail is about to fall off. Um, and after throwing a lot, my, my nails, my fingers split, they get dry and cracked. So in the winter or when my hands get like that, um, I usually will throw with gloves. So I got these on Amazon. I'm a small, so you want to make sure that your gloves are tightly fitted and they're nice and thin. These nitrile gloves uh, work really well for me. And I don't seem to have much trouble. I mean, I um, originally when I wanted to try throwing with gloves, I had a lot, I mean, I was looking online, do people ever do this? Um, and there wasn't a lot of information. Um, and my advice to you guys is it can be done. Do it, try it, practice it, um, and see how it feels for you. Um, and then when I go back to throwing without gloves, I like to use um, bag balm before I throw. It uh, doesn't seem to interfere with the clay or the drying or anything like that. And it uh, really repels the water from my hands and keeps them protected. So today I am gonna wear gloves. And I am using about um, just over one and a quarter pounds of clay for each one of these. And I have my, um, my wheel is, this is, I have a standing up wheel and a sitting down one. And I use them one for one color and one for another kind of clay. Um, or for bigger pieces, I like to sit down. But um, this is not a big piece, but I live near Portland, Oregon. So I go to a place called Georgie's Clay and Supply. And this is called, this is a buff clay called Pat Horsley, Cone 6 Stoneware. And I, I absolutely love this clay. I love the way it throws. It's nice and smooth. It seems to center well. I love the, um, the moisture content that it has in it when, it's, uh, when it gets to me. <laughs> so, and it doesn't seem to dry out too fast in the bag when I you know, buy a large quantity. So, I mean, as you can see, I use it a lot. I, I just, um, I don't care about the funky smells that my water tends to get. I like to use slip more than water for um, throwing. So, I mean, it is kind of nice when I clean it all up. But, so, I am going to throw some, uh, like I said, hand warming mugs. This is just the first step. And um, I, uh, let's see, I might speed this up. I might not. For the first one, we'll see. So, thanks for watching, guys. Get them both wet. And just go in like I would normally. Pull up a bit. You just want to make sure that your gloves don't drag, but if they're wet, I don't really have uh, any trouble throwing this way. I have to say though, I do prefer to feel the clay on my hands. And it's just a personal preference, but uh, when your fingers get tore up, you gotta Say either okay am I gonna stop throwing for a while and let my hands heal no that's not gonna happen for me um, or do I get try to get them back to a good place so that I can throw again uh, without gloves so wearing gloves is my best option and I don't seem to mind it so it's up to you so I recommend these nitro gloves and make sure that they fit nice and snug
And I think if you throw with a sponge, like a lot of us do, it doesn't really matter that you're wearing gloves, you know? You just want to make sure the inside is nice and wet uh, so that your gloves don't drag on the clay inside. But, I mean, as long as you do that, you're good. So I actually, uh, I got impatient waiting for John's tutorial, and I made some, uh, last night actually, I finished off some um, hand warming, I mean I didn't finish them, I put the, I cut it open and put my, the, I don't even know how you say, the slab inside for the hand part, so I will show you that in just a second. Um, after this one is finished. So he, um, I guess, cut more of a, a crescent shape for the hand slot. And um, I did an angle cut, which either one works. So um, whichever you prefer the look. I kind of, uh, I think these ones I'm going to go ahead and try the crescent cut and see how I like it. Um, so that, um, you know, I can decide which way to go. It's all about, you know, inspiration and what you like. So I take what I see, I alter it most of the time a little bit, and, um, and that's, that's what I get, you know? Um, so let's see. I'm gonna dry my hands a little bit. See, I mean, they work great. No trouble. So here are the ones that I made last night. So see how I just cut a little slit from, from the top here down. Uh, I, I, and I pushed it in and pushed this out. And like John said at his tutorial today, like you have to, it has to be at the right uh, moisture content. It can't be at leather hard yet. It has to be b before that. And if it is leather hard, just spray it with some water and let it sit for a while. And then just slowly, you know, rub it till you get it to stretch a bit here and there. And then I put a, a little slab on the inside there and molded it to my, my hand, but made it a little bit larger than my hand. So it'll shrink down to where it should fit most hands because I have pretty small hands but um so that you can wrap your fingers around here but um then usually when i go to trim it i do this before i trim it um i'll go on and re-round out the rim there um because i don't like it to look unsymmetrical you know i like the the way it looks symmetrical like that and then just have the little hand slot there so um Basically, that's all I did. So I'm just going to continue throwing the rest of these and I'll probably alter them either tonight or tomorrow. Um, my boys are sleeping right now, so it gives me a little bit of time to do some throwing. So I'm just going to finish this stuff up.
All right, guys, I think that might be it. Um, word to the wise, when your water starts to be more like slip than water, maybe it's time to change it up. Thanks, guys. Bye. Hey, guys, I just wanted to um, say one thing. Yesterday was my oldest son's birthday, and he turned four. I have two sons, one that's almost two and one that's a simpler, and um, he is on the spectrum and recently has started really talking. Uh, he started pre preschool and I just wanted to show you a clip um, that I put on Facebook yesterday uh, in the morning for family. Um, and I'm just so, so proud of him. He's doing so amazing in preschool and starting to talk so well. And um, I'm so super proud of him. And so I just wanted to show you guys a little clip of, of him since I've never had him on this channel. I've only had Cooper, my little one, on here. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks. Look at me and say it. It's about my birthday. Yeah. How old are you? I'm four. Can you say it without the toast in your mouth? Say it again. Show me on your hands. Show me on your hands. No, that's too many. You're trying to do it. Apple. Apple. Good job. Uh -huh. We love you, honey. Love you,